So first of all, let me wish you a happy new year and I wish that this year would be a year that you would remember and look back on fondly and that a secret wish of yours would come true in this year. Whatever it is, <laughs> there's many of you and there's no way I would know what any of you wishes. <laughs> Maybe someone, but not many. <laughs> so, new year, new month, new bullet journal, of course. And if you haven't seen my last week's bullet journal, you can still watch it. It's in my last week's tutorial. But today, let's go on with the weeklies. I kind of like this one. So check out all the rest and how to make them. <laughs> Happy New Year, everyone. I hope it all goes your way, all the way. Last week we made our January spread, but the weeklies are missing, so let's fix that. I know it's a little bit late, but better late than never, they say. And you can use the same layout for February, if you find it's too late now. So here we go with seals and sea lions in blues, purples and browns. For the first week I went all in and drew sea mammals for every day of the week in different poses and different species. I just searched Pinterest for nice references and went from there. The layout itself is very easy with a big title on the top and dailies threaded below. The titles of the dailies are written with pit pen while the bigger header is outlined in fine liner and painted in watercolors. Nothing new here, but I like this technique, so I stick with it, since I usually have the opposite problem of jumping in different directions way too much. But it's true that limitations can push you creatively sometimes. The colors are not exactly realistic every time, but these little creatures are more or less grayish and brown. Although I might add a little more blue to the mix for artistic purposes. The Grandpa Frost brought me these paintbrushes that you see me using here, for the New Year's. I had one paintbrush like this, but really wished for two smaller ones, so I wrote to Grandpa Frost, that's like our Santa here, but he's not so chubby, so he's stronger and he can bring more gifts. <laughs> and I really love using these brushes. They're Petit Gris Pour by Da Vinci, and these are very small, 2 through 0, if anybody's interested. I know I always am in tutorials. On the next spread we have a circular focal image and the center and dailies going clockwise around it. Same pit pen in light blue for the headers and same tools for the drawing. A Rotring technical pen that is like a refillable fine liner and watercolors. Minimalistic supplies and quite a difficult pose but I kind of like how this spread turned up. Here I colored the background first because it's very light and I also like seeing how the seal looks in white on blue background. It's all play after all. We don't have to do this. It's just for fun. I painted the puppy brown as he was in the reference and I like this color combination. The warm reddish brown against the cool but very gentle light blue. I have to use this combination again. Not just in painting, maybe in sewing as well. <laughs> I know a particular girl who would love something in this color combination. On the third weekly I kind of ran out of ideas and I just put two seals on the bottom and arranged the days above. Not something I would be proud of, but hey, it's only for one week. I will use this for seven days, no more. So not every spread needs to be perfect, right? Bullet journal is a great way to train your artistic freedom. You know you're not stuck with your artwork. If a page doesn't look nice, guess what? It will all be gone in a week. And if it's all that bad, you don't even have to use it. But to be honest, I always use my pages, even when they look horrible. It's still better than plain old planners from the office store, don't you think? You have to mess up really badly for it to be worse than those plain old boring black printed titles. Everything is more interesting than that, even the mistakes, even the strange looking seal or the sea lion, don't you think? And the last week was inspired by a statue I saw on Pinterest. It looks like a mama and a puppy and it's much more stylized in stone of course, but I wanted to keep my style cohesive so I imagined the same pose a little bit more realistic. I know, I know, but I said a little bit more realistic. <laughs> I like this one a lot. It's not realistic, of course, but it gets the feeling across, or at least so I feel. 
The gentle kiss that mama and her little baby seal exchange is so cute. I like this one and the one with the baby seal in the center. Which one is your favorite though? And here's the final flip through of the whole month. If you haven't seen the January layout with the snowflake monthly and the blue bullet trackers, check out my last week's tutorial. If you'd like to see more bullet journal fun, you can look up at my bullet journal playlist. And if you'd like to propose a theme, leave me a comment. I'd love to start a viewer's proposed videos. It sounds fun and brings us together. And I saw there are some new people here, so I'd love to hear from you. It always makes my day when I see a comment and it amazes me how these silly little ideas travel across the ocean. Okay, I know they don't technically travel across the ocean. They go into space and back, but it's amazing nevertheless. <laughs> I do hope to see you next week with some more artistic fun. Have a great day and bye-bye!